Teacher, I'm going to be listener to, tonight uh, because I, I am in the office. Okay. Okay.
Hola, buenas noches. Hola. Buenas noches. Sí. Eh, noches. Comentarle que el facilitador se va a desconectar unos minutitos porque va a reiniciar la computadora, ya que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Por favor, no se vayan a desconectar. Él se va a conectar en unos cinco minutos y esperemos que todo funcione correctamente. Si en dado caso no se logra solventar, si nos tocaría... Hola. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Me escucha, hello, good evening. Clear. Yes. Oh, okay, <laughs> thanks God, thanks God. Okay, very nice. Um. I'm sorry, I, I've been in trouble with my internet. Um, Wi-Fi is not working and I'm using the data, uh, but right now the uh, Wi-Fi is back. I don't know if it's going to be for the whole class, but I think it's going to be at least for a, a few minutes. But if not, I think I'm going to give instructions in order to have an activity to work, okay? Okay. Okay, finally, very nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna call by your name as soon as you listen your name, please tell me present, okay? Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Very nice. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Very nice. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Awesome. Debbie Yasmin Giron Ramirez. Present. Very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Very nice. Oscar Anulfo Herrera. Present. Okay. Rosemary Ventura del Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Salvador Augusto Soto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Present. Okay. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Okay. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Wendy Karina Morales de Amaya. Morales Amaya, perdón. Okay. Very nice. Oh, let me share right now here. Yes. Okay. Yes, Yvette. Teacher, yes, oh, Emmy Pasolista. Teacher, hello, hello, hello. Oh, sorry, teacher, I'm still in the office right now. I will be listener for the moment. Okay, very nice, very nice. I'm sorry, I feel the mess. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, Letty. Okay. Let me check right now if you can. Uh... Give me a second. Yeah. 
Can you watch the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, awesome. Very good, very good. Okay, so yesterday we were trying to work with this uh, part of the with the conversation and we were trying to identify some words in order to pronounce, right? And there were some words like finance, determined, and for example, received. This kind of, of, of verbs or, or pronunciations that were um, trying to be identified by you. Okay. So uh, this conversation uh, as this unit is going to be talking about suggesting some to common uses related to warehouse, okay? So it's, it's a way in which you can give a suggestion about something that you think is going to have uh, a problem or something that you need to get fixed. So that's what we were trying to wear, uh, to talk yesterday and there are some common expressions that we use at the moment of giving a, a, a suggestion, okay? That's why it's a result. It's, a, it's something that happens because it's a chaos about something, right? So um, I, yesterday we read the conversation and we made practice. So we have here uh, an instruction, read the conversation again and complete the sentence. Okay, so we have to complete uh, sentence one and sentence two according to the conversation. I, it's going to be easy, so you're going to do it uh, here in the main session. Uh, you just have to take a look about the conversation, okay? And then you're going to uh, fulfill this part that is uh, here we have the spaces in order to uh, write what is the correct part of the a text that we need to add according to the conversation. I don't know if it's clear what, what you're going to do. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very nice. So um, I don't know if you had the, the booking you want or are you going to what's here in the screen? In my case, I have the book. Okay, very nice. Very good. So we're going to work in page, it's page 27, exercise three, okay? It's going to be quickly. Let me know when you're finished, okay? Do you finish? 
Yes. OK. Uh, I don't know if you can read number one and give the answer. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, read the conversation again in complete sentences. I bet why bit it happened during the dates. The system received maintenance. Uh, that's uh, that's why uh, your department didn't receive the right information in time. Okay, very nice. That's why, okay? Very good. Do you have the same? The rest of the class has the same? The same. Awesome, very good. What about number two? What do you have in number two, Aminda? Okay, uh, the information sent to the finance department determinate the wrong cost as a result with overpay for three incomplete orders. Very nice. Okay, the rest of the class has the same? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. Yeah. Awesome, perfect, great job. Okay, so right now we're going to talk about a important topic about transitions of result. So that's what we're going to talk about, transition of result. When we talk about transition of result, uh, is about a way to express a way to express, sorry, that something is a result from one action or from one situation. Okay, for example, okay, uh, I don't know if uh, Mariano, can you help me? To read this part that is marked. You share my screen. Say in the corporate initiated the use of compartido de pantalla, but okay. don't charge. Okay, let, let, okay. let me let me right now. Give me a second. One more time. Right now. For me, no teacher. I don't know. I have the problem. But it's Mariano because I see the. The screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I yes. See correct the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe it's Mariano's uh, problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. The, the chat. Okay, very nice. It may be because internet is being uh is not working good. I think it's around the the country because of the weather, right? In some places, mm -hmm. it's like not working properly. Like my in my case. Yeah, yeah, me cargo. Okay, okay, very nice. Transition helps connect connect ideas. In this case, this transition connects as a result to the action that causes it. Okay, very very nice. Thank you. Transition transitions help connect ideas. In this case, the transitions connect a result to the action that causes it. Okay, here is the important part that we need to know. It works in order to connect ideas. And it's a result to the action that causes it. Very nice. So which one added the way of using transitions? Okay. Let me listen to Carlos. Can you please read this part, Carlos? Okay, the first sentence or second sentence? Uh, that's this part that is, that is marked. Okay, when the transition is positioned between two clouds, punctu punctuation can be as, as, follow, as follows. Okay, when the transition is po positioned between two clauses, Ok, cuando la transición está entre dos, ¿verdad? Oraciones. Punctuation can be as follows. O sea, el, 
la forma de ubicarse con las puntuaciones puede ser de la siguiente manera. Ok, ahora sí, me ayuda a leer el nombre bueno. The label information was wrong. As a consequence, the package were put in the incorrect things. Okay, very nice. If you can um if you can read here, the transition is this one as a consequence. So it's positioned by a period and by a comma. So the label information was run. Here is the first clause. Let's go with the next one. The packages were put in the correct bins. Second, you will have the second and you will have the first clause. And the transition is the middle of them. So it's between the two clauses that are joined by a transition. Okay, so these transitions are the one that in charge in order to give information that is going to be given to the people according to a reason or a result that something happens. So it says the live information was run. As a consequence, the packages were put in the incorrect orders. Y acá es donde nos da el resultado. Miren cómo dice. ¿Verdad? Que la información estaba, ¿verdad? La información estaba incorrecta. Y como consecuencia, los paquetes fueron puestos en cajas incorrectas. ¿Ok? Entonces, hay una acción ¿Verdad? Que genera un resultado. ¿Y cuál es la acción? Que hay una información incorrecta. Y el resultado es que se pusieron por la misma mala información. Se pusieron acá lo que fue el producto en cajas que eran incorrectas. Ok, entonces si ustedes ven acá, as a consequence, es un transition. As a result, is a transition. Okay, consequently is a transition. Consequently, as a result, a transition. Therefore, as a transition. Okay, this kind of transition help us in order to work, right? With the right way in order to talk about something that happened in a specific way. I don't know if you had any question before we continue reading the rest. How do you, uh, how do you translate their, therefore? Um, therefore is a way to say, uh, um, por ende o por lo tanto. Um, it's another way to say, uh, por ello, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them are the are transitions that are going to give a reason about a result or of from from action. It's a result. Todos ellos nos van a dar prácticamente verdad la razón de un resultado. Okay, entonces cuando veamos este tipo de transition nos están dando verdad un resultado por alguna acción que ha pasado. Okay, vamos a ver, repeat after me, as a consequence. Can you listen to me? Right now, yes. Right now, yes. Okay, as a consequence. As a result. As a result. Esta es un poco más compleja para pronunciar. Consequently. Repeat. Consequently. As a result. And therefore. Okay, very nice. Vamos a ver si la second, number second. Uh, I don't know if you can help me to read Debbie. Mm. 
Okay, let me check if can you, um Rosivia, can you please help me to renumber the the second sentence that is marked? Okay. The products were not properly packaged. As a result, they were damaged. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Thank you very much. The products were not properly packaged. As a result, they were damaged. Very nice. Let's go with the next ones. Uh, let me listen to Vanessa. The vendors missed the delivery date. Consequently, the retailer asked for a reimbursement. Okay, the vendors missed the delivery date. Consequently, the retailer asked for a reimbursement. Very nice, awesome, good. What about the next one? Can you please help me to read the next one, Aminda? Okay, we, uh, we didn't know there were dangerous chemicals in the shipment. As a result, some workers have to go to the hospital. Awesome, very nice. So as you listen, as you check, all of them are talking about the result, right? Something about result. Okay, very nice. Vamos con la siguiente. Okay, let me listen to uh, Mariano. Okay, teacher. There were no worker safety guidelines. Therefore, we trained the staff in safety procedures. Okay, very nice. There were no worker safety guidelines. Therefore, we train the staff in safety procedures. Okay, very nice. Good. All of these ways are going to talk about how to use some of them in order to give results, okay? Okay, very nice. We're going to work with this part. I'm gonna push you to work with this part. And of course, um, let me check here, yeah. It's read the warehouse issues below. Apply the corresponding punctuation, compare your answers with a partner. So you're going to be working and about this one, punctuations, okay? And you're going to take the correct use of the transition and of course the punctuation, okay? In one, two, three, and four, okay? I'm gonna push you in pairs. And one more thing. You are going to work in, um, you're going to write like a, a report for your boss or maybe for your um, unit. Van a escribir un reporte, sea para su jefe o para su unidad, ¿verdad? De que van a hablar, por ejemplo, sobre algún problema que tienen en cuanto a la bodega. ¿Ok? Y van a hacer dos actividades, lo que vamos a ir a hacer. ¿verdad? La primera es es esta la segunda actividad es que ustedes van a ir y van a crear ese, ese texto ¿verdad? como un reporte en la cual ustedes van a dar algunas cosas que han pasado los resultados ¿verdad? por eh, algunas cuestiones entonces y van a utilizar estos transition consequently as a result therefore as a concept ok Van a hacer un reporte formal y va a ir dirigido como a su área en específico o puede ir dirigido a, a un superior, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer esas dos actividades eh, y vamos a trabajar en eso ahorita, ¿ok? ¿Está claro? Sí, yes, teacher. Sí, yes. yes, teacher. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Hello, Rosibel. Hello, Leticia. Okay. Uh, 
what was the uh, first activity uh, we are going to do? As a result, this is point. As a result, comma. As a result, comma, pickers are not able to find them because they need. Yeah, I'm agree with you. Okay. The number two. The first is the top. And Not the end is the com. Uh -huh. As in as, the after package is dot. It's point. Yeah, point. <laughs> but the next letter the is no a, 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 a. Yes, it's point and comma. Uh, ah yes, put it okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um after result is a coma. Mm -hmm. No, yes. no, eh, no, the first is a point y luego lo vamos a poner la A en mayúscula y luego va en la coma. Sure. Yes, But, sure. But, but, but the, the, instru the instruction only this only say apply the corresponding punctuation. Punctuation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, but uh, 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 after the fine, uh, after, after the after the point, the next letter has a capital letter. Mm -hmm. Bien raro porque en la plataforma me lo agarró así. Ah, okay. Do did you the did the exercise Plata. in the platform. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the vendor is... Amiga, the vendor... no sé si, no sé si mm -hmm. comprendiste, pero dice que la plataforma se lo aceptó colocando en el punto y cambiando el as, la A por mayúscula en la plataforma, pero si querés le preguntamos al teacher. Sí, porque no me deja uh -huh. acá. <laughs> a menos que, que lo cambiemos nosotros y le digamos que, que tendría que ir con, con, con... Ajá, pues eso es lo que le, le tendríamos que preguntar porque lógicamente entonces tendría sería así el punto y coma. Aquí está el teacher entonces, escuchándolo. Estoy bien, y la coma. Hello. Teacher, what is your opinion? Well, um, I had to check it at the, at, at the end of when we were in the when we are in the main session, right? But uh, remember what happened in the platform is that is it's stated in a way mm. and the machine receives the the, the, the answer uh, totally correctly as they are assigned. So 
that's some problem that the platform has. The platform. Right? Ah, okay. okay. That, but, okay, here, right now, what you're going to do is punctuation. Okay. Uh -huh. Only punctuation, okay. Uh-huh. So. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay, you, teacher. Very nice. Okay, the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, it's the same. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you say put the comma in English? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check it in Google. No, teacher us <laughs> when they which uh, one? How how do you say punto y coma in English? Ah, semicolon. Dot I come up semicolon. Mm -hmm. Repeat please. Semicolon, así como lo escucha. Remember the colon. <laughs> 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 no se te olvide que, que, que el colon, el semicolon. Uh -huh. Ok. <laughs> ok, time to open the box. Count the items and rebox them. Ok. The warehouse doesn't have enough dogs. Therefore. Send the colon, uh -huh. Send the colon and come. Mm -hmm. We have two products in the es aisle or estles aislados. Estles, okay. Ahí está Design. palabra. Dogs. Semicolon. Therefore. Coma, we have two in there. And the last one, the conveyor belt broke as a consequence. There is not enough stuff to put arriving packages package away. Mm -hmm. Consequence. Is with as a consequence. As a consequence, no, that could be the conveyor belt broke. That, wait, I guess, as a consequence, comma. Why, why is not comma? I don't know because I think it's a sentence. The conveyor belt bro. As a consequence, there is not enough stuff. I don't know. See the ah no the, the, the example the label information uh, was wrong. That as a consequence, the packets were put in the corner. I because this is a first clause, something like that. Ah, okay. It's the first class. Mm -hmm. And connect it as a consequence and the second uh -huh. class. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. As a result, it's another example. With that, and consequently, as a result, and therefore, we use the color. <laughs> so, is the player that brought that as a consequence, comma, there is not enough stuff to put the rabbit packages away. Okay, the next one we have to make um, uh, a report. Report with uh, with an information about about a, an issue from from a warehouse. Okay. So. I don't know which problem could could be. The warehouse problem, most common problem is the warehouse don't have enough space. <laughs> yeah. Oh. In my company, this is the 
es pan de cada día. Ok, o oh, I think the, the, the goods is not, the, the employees not found the, the goods into the warehouse. No, ok, could be the goods, the goods. They don't have control about the stuff, something like that. Yes, they don't don't have a good control, mm -hmm. or they don't have a stock controller. Mm -hmm. Could be like um, a mail or memorandum. That's okay, memorandum. No sé si se dice memorandum. I don't know. Memorandum is. Memorandum. En latín. No sé. Pero no. Memorandum. Could be in Lali. Um, yeah, memorandum. ¿Qué tenemos que poner? The issue. Mm -hmm. Como dijimos, mm -hmm. we are. We are not, not in this mount. Uh, the we we recite the. No sé, una cantidad. At the moment. At, at this moment. We me corrigen si escribo mal. Yeah. At this moment we receive. Eh, ¿Qué le podemos? Eh, para decir grande. Big. Big. Sorry. Big. Big. Could you? Big. Ay, sí, perdón. <risa> yo, ¿qué, es? ¿Qué, ¿Qué me dice Bill? Bill, ¿y yo quién es Bill? <risa> Pero a Bill. We receive a Bill, a Bill. Eh, order o Bill. Order, stock. ajá. O a Bill Stop, ajá. A Bill Order. To... A Bill Order. Bye. Mm -hmm. Or to supply. At the, uh, this moment, we receive the order. Recibimos okay. una una gran cantidad. <coughs> ¿Qué dijiste, Mariano? Eh, to supply uh, or to. The materials. Ah, o de material o de mm -hmm. o de requerimiento. No, lo que queremos decir es que recibimos demasiado productos ah, o, lo, o, o lo que sea. Stock. Ajá, y, y la bodega no tiene suficiente espacio. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces sería, we'll receive Pero entonces order. no sería una gran orden. We'll receive, uh, we'll receive too much products. To overstock o algo así sería. Ajá. Products. Ajá. Uh -huh. At this moment we receive too much product. ¿Qué más? Too much products. And, and too... we don't have and we don't have a space in raw raw. Store. And we. ¿Dónde está la apostrofe? We don't have enough. Uh -huh. Espacio se escribe. Space. Space. At the moment mm. we receive too much product to store, and we mm. don't have enough space in our warehouse. Aquí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
y ponerle que ahí que no puedes hacer cambios o no podemos... Ah pero, aquí, ah, pero aquí tenemos que poner un conector, ¿verdad? Ajá. Yes, as Entonces, a result. as a result, ajá, as a result, we should contract, sería, o contract, pero es decir, como resultado tuvimos que contratar. O contratar otra bodega. Ajá, correcto, ¿cómo sería? As a result with, with contract. With contract other warehouse. Así sería. We have to hire. Esto sería as a result. We had, had, we had to hire. Así. Yes. As a result, we have to hide other warehouse. Pero aquí me falta as a result. Así, vea. Yeah. We have to hide other warehouse. ¿Qué más podemos decir? Pero mire, yo, yo lo que quería poner ahí antes de eso era de que de que no tenemos espacio suficiente y no podemos hacer movimientos o liberaciones porque estamos a final de mes y afectamos los inventarios o algo así. Okay. Ajá, entonces como consecuencia tenemos que contratar, hacer un, un gasto adicional contratando una, una bodega extra. Okay, entonces sería, this moment we don't see too much product to store and we don't have, ¿a dónde, qué, qué, ¿a dónde quieres ponerlo? No sé, ¿qué le explico? At this moment, we need to move forward to start and we don't have enough space in our warehouse. Ok, entonces aquí, eh, por, porque estamos al final de mes, eh, no podemos hacer liberaciones ni movimientos por el inventario. O sea, porque, porque entiendo yo que al final del mes no puedes estar haciendo esas cosas, ¿va? Porque estás como cerrando. La necesidad lo hace hacer cualquier cosa. Pero que no está cerrando, que no está cerrando para, para, para presentar números al, de, al, a, al cierre del mes. Entonces, no, cuando estás haciendo cierre del mes, no puedes sacar ni, ni liberar. Va, Entiendo entonces. yo, pero bueno, no sé. Entonces, de, de, entonces le quieres que le pongamos que Do. No, 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 así está bien. En el principio, no, está bien. Después que ponemos warehouse, pues tenés que decirte que no podemos este, hacer movimientos ni liberaciones por estar en cierre de mes. Ah, sí, entonces lo Ajá. que sería. Después de warehouse, después de warehouse. No, pero Con... warehouse primero, primero, primero. El primer warehouse. Después de space in more warehouse. Ah, ¿Verdad? aquí. Ajá, ahí, cabal. Quitar Ajá. ese punto y coma. Quitarle ese Ajá. punto y coma. Y pongámosle este. Uh -huh. Después, uh -huh. en el warehouse. Eh, uh -huh. 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 Uh Products. Eh, porque estamos en, en cierre, en cierre, ¿qué Because sería? affect de Uh -huh. el Or, cierre. uh -huh. monthly, monthly, no sé cómo se escribe cierre, cierre mensual. Veamos. Esta vamos a ver. And the, and, and me dice end, ending of months. 
Ah, pongámoslo así. Sí. De mes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Así sí, está bien. Sí. Because yes. affect. Because affect. The. The ending. The ending. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y ending. The ending of month. Of, of month. Of months. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As a result, and then put the put the comma. As a result, we have to find other warehouse. Está bien. Así es. We have to find other. Y cuando decís we have to here, qué 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 te sirve ahí? No entiendo eso. Ah, me está diciendo que ponga. At this moment, we receive too many products to store and we don't have enough space in our warehouse and we can move or deliver products because of the end of a month. As a result, we have to hire other warehouse. Ahí ya no tiene sentido, entonces. Ajá, ¿por qué? Porque si no lo decir? puedes sacar. ¿El qué? El we have to hire other warehouse. Porque no lo puede mover, dice. Ajá, es que no lo vas a poder mover, sino que lo que vas a tener que hacer es lo que va a entrar, lo vas a tener que almacenar en otra bodega extra. Mm -hmm. O sea, okay, el producto okay. nuevo. El producto ah, entonces nuevo sería. Que ha ingresado, entonces sería, sea, as a result, uh -huh. we, ha, we, we have, have to, to have... store, sería, we have to store, sería aquí. We have, we have to. To store. to store the new product in, in other we have to store in, in other in other warehouse I said yeah. the new product in other warehouse as a result we have to store the new products <clears throat> in other warehouse okay? yes Ahí sí. ¿Y qué me dice esto? Ah. Va, está bien. Pues. Pongámosle la coma. Dice. Aquí. Most. Ahora Más podemos conciso. poner otra consecuencia. Que tenemos que pagar transporte Ajá. para regresarlo después. A la... Va, entonces, ¿qué le ponemos? Eh, ponerle... Debido. Como, como due... consecuencia. Pero ¿cómo iniciamos? Veamos el, uh -huh. el libro, ¿cómo podemos poner? Vean el libro, chicos. Eh, eh, vaya, por ejemplo, ese es el, el que tenés que... que Vamos a empezar otra oración. O, otra bodega, ¿verdad? Pero vos podés ponerle ahí, as a consequence. Eh, Hay un... ¿A dónde? Después de Warehouse. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí Yo cierra con que... punto, luego va as a consequence en mayúscula, Ajá. coma. As a conce... Conce... Ajá. Así se escribe. Consecuencia. Ajá. Sí, así. Okay. Ay, ya, estoy aprend... ya estoy aprendiendo, man. Ajá. <ríe> Ajá. Conse... As, as a consequence. Eh, we need... Eh... We're going necesito? to pay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're going to pay. No, porque es en presente, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo, pay, nosotros pay, vamos pay, a pagar. Pay. Ajá. Pay. Pay, pay. Así, we're going to pay. Eh, el futuro. <risa> así es. Sí. Sí. Ok, we're going to pay. ¿Qué De... podemos? Extra. Extra oh, sí, money. Día. Extra money. For. We're For going to pay. Of, ¿Qué sería? We're going to For pay. The shipping. The, the additional cost. Or the. Additional cost. Addition. I see. Addition. Additional cost. Mm -hmm. For the. ¿Qué me dijiste? 
For the transportation, for, okay. For the shipping. Shipping, decime si se escribe así. Pero ahí, ¿qué quieres decir for the shipping? Por la compra. Es envío. O por, o por el, el transporte. Ajá, uh, shipping es un envío, ¿no? No. Déjame ver. Shipping es con el computador. Quiero ver. Delivery. Ah, oh, pues sí. Sí, es mm, del... delivery. Ajá. Que traduce como delivery. Shipping es envío. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces sería, we're going to pay the additional cost for the shipping. Va. As our warehouse. Sorry, Mariana, ¿cómo me dijiste? As, As a, our warehouse. O as, ah, sí. Hacia nuestras bodegas. Sería. Ah, hacen nuestro día de cost for the shipping. Sería. ¿Por qué es nuestro bodega? Porque después va a pagar ese envío hacia la bodega de regreso. De eso estamos hablando ahorita. Ajá. Las mandamos para otro lado, pero después hay que regresar. Uh -huh. Sí. Or there were our warehouse. Made or, or made or warehouse. Y sería shipping. Me aparece aquí shipping to our warehouse. Our warehouse. Sí. Okay. Warehouse. Va. Consequently, eh, ponele pon, ahí. This, this, this operation, consequently, eh, que no punto va a tener... seguido, siempre, o punto y aparte. Eh, punto y aparte. Hacia otra, otro parágrafo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué quieres poner ahí, Ruth? Ajá, que, que el... Por aquí hay una parte que dice en el book, dice... Eh, eh, para mí quiero ver, ver la, lo que está mal escribiendo por mi eh, this operation, ajá. Eh, porque quiero poner que esa operación, este, este, in, no se implica, o sea, traerá como consecuencia eh, uh -huh. más trabajo en, en la operación. Ok, entonces... Sí, pero pongamos, entonces, pero pongamos porque si lo ponemos solo como this operation y ponemos un conector, queda uh -huh. muy, muy no. como ambiguo, digamos. Ajá. No, pero estoy de, dando la de... idea, pero tenemos... Ajá, Ajá, sí, 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 pero lo podemos poner como the store, storage, the product uh -huh. in other warehouse. Uh -huh. The storage... The product in other warehouse. Eh, the storage, the product in other. Uh -huh. In other. As a consequence. Sería, tú quieres decir el almacenamiento de los productos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. En otras bodegas. En otras bodegas. Como... Ajá, uh -huh. as a consequence, creo que eso se escribe. No, coma, consequently, consequ consequently, no se pronuncia eso. As a result, creo que sería. As a result. Yes. 
and the results more work from the operators. I don't know. O as a from... consequence. As a consequence. No. No. O le podemos poner debido a la situación anterior. No, es que, es que el, el, la primera parte creo que no estaría mal, pero el conector que vamos a usar. The storage, the product. As, as, a, as a consequence, es, es como trae como consecuencia. Eh, have more work from the, uh -huh. eh, ¿cómo se llama el área de inventario? ¿Cómo se llaman los de bodega o almacenar? Mira, lo shipping and receive. Sé que está, que, ajá, y de ahí tenés envío y recibos, de ahí tenés al, ajá, bodega, y ellos son los que llevan el control del inventario. No tienen nombre, lo que dice María, no permite decir cuál es. Son de las, de las cosas que estoy viendo. Eso sí. Control, no, control stock, ¿cómo no? No, pero ese control. Es... Ah, por, ah, mira, por ejemplo, aquí ve, en lugar de poner este holding warehouse, podríamos poner en la, en la con segunda bodega, porque dice traditional warehouse. Who space is used for temporary and long term storage, holding warehouse. Por ejemplo, en la, para utilizar el vocabulario que, nos, que, hemos, que estamos haciendo en la, en la clase. Por ejemplo, espérate, quiero ver esto. Dice, cuando uh, dice how to store, we have to store the new products in, in other warehouses. Entonces aquí podríamos poner in a... Uh, Holding warehouse. Holding warehouse. Ajá. Si te fijas en el en el book, pero me voy a compartir aquí. I can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities, with little not to store to no storage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo recuerdo que holding warehouse no es traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long term storage. Sí. Uh -huh. Que es básicamente como una bodega adicional, construcción de una bodega adicional. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que eso es? Sí, sí, sí. Yes, Ajá, we entonces... have to store the new product in. Ajá. In all. ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué sería? ¿Qué tal es? In holding warehouse. Uh -huh. As a consequence, we're going to pay the additional cost for the shipping uh -huh. to our warehouse. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué más crean poner? In holding warehouse. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí está el warehouse. En el segundo párrafo que estamos iniciando, ponele the storage, the products in holding warehouse. Uh -huh. Va, que sigamos. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, pues el ASA Resort. Extra. Ah, podríamos poner. Eh, as a result, eh, pay extra or. Entonces aquí sería eh, the storage the produce in holding warehouse. Mm -hmm. O sea, lo que quiero poner es que, ajá, que el, el, el almacenamiento de productos en la el warehouse temporal es un resultado de pagar horas extras al personal. Ok. Entonces sería the stores, the stores, the products in holding warehouse as a result. 
More working hours will be needing. Sí. More working hours will be needed. More working hours will be needed. Así. No, eh, eh, sería, entonces sería are needed. Are, en vez del be. More working hours are needed. Le quito, le quito el will be. Yes, please. By the storage, the products in holding warehouse. As a result, more working hours are needed. Bye. Yo creo que ya. O quieren poner más. Está <laughs> bien. Ya, ya veo que no quieres trabajar mucho hoy. Ay, no, es que ya es viernes. Ya es viernes y me tocó hacer un manualito. ¿Y quién más estaba con nosotros? Leticia. Pero no sé qué se hizo Leti, que ya no pinó nada. Quizás esto Estaba trabajando. Ah, dijo ella. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, you are a house right now. Mm -hmm. No dice nada el teacher. No dice nadie. Aquí mm -hmm. está aquí aparece. Fiesta. Aquí me aparece como host. Sí, sí, ahí está conectado. Está conectado. Bueno. Entonces, miren, aquí está una frase que dice que no tenemos espacio. Mira, uh -huh. para irlo mejorando. Uh -huh. <ríe> Fíjate que en el book, en el book dice, mira, dice, the warehouse doesn't have enough dots. Therefore, we have to put produce in the, y podríamos poner, we have to put produce in holding warehouse. Para quitar el store. Ajá, pero quiero ver, quiero ver. Entonces sería, as a result, we had to put products. No, por ejemplo, aquí mira. At this moment, we receive too many products to store. And we don't have enough the space in, in our warehouse. Eh, y nosotros hemos puesto, and we can move or deliver products because affect the ending of month. Pero para poner esto, que no tenemos suficiente espacio en nuestra bodega, en, el, en, la, en la tarea en, o en las que acabamos de hacer, dice, no tenemos suficiente espacio en la bodega, dice, the, the warehouse doesn't have enough dogs. Therefore, we have to put products, products in, in holding, in holding a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Entonces, si querés, déjalo ahí. Si querés, déjalo así. Ah, no tengo que modificar todo eso. Sí. ¿Y, y aquí hace? No, no, no. Ahí no sería allá arriba, pero dejémoslo así. Bueno, ah, por va. ejemplo, eh, solo para que lo veamos. Para que... Quiero ver. Dear boss, pongámosle. I hope, pongámosle como que es una, ah, car sí, una como carta, como... ¿verdad? Dear boss, I hope, I hope you well when you receive my report. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 y le sí. da risa, María. <laughs> no, como dijo que lo podía, teníamos que hacer y a, a alguien, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Le podemos poner así. Mm -hmm. La pongámoslo, Dear boss. Pues, sí. Dear boss. <laughs> <risa> ya se imaginan sí. ustedes poniéndole así al jefe de verdad. Oh, maybe, dear manager. No, dear. Manager. Dear qué? Dear manager. Dear, dear manager uh -huh. warehouse. Los reportes técnicos de eso que no se pone. Eh, ¿Quién lo hace? 
el cargo, la unidad, no sé sí, quién, sí. a qué unidad se dirigen. Sí. También. Entonces, ¿quieren que le ponemos? Sí, Pongámosle Mr. José Pérez. Va. Ajá. Ya va. Pues sí. Eh, jefe de, no sé qué. Ma manager Logistic. O Manager Logistic. Ya va. Entonces, Pero ¿quieren es... que le pone warehouse, warehouse Manager o no? O no, sí. Manager. Logistics. Logistics. Logistics Manager. Vale, entonces le ponemos aquí así, pero quitarle el espacio, dale un chip enter después de Pérez. Este, no, no, espérate. ¿Y qué quieres? ¿Que, que lo que deje más unidito. Pero si sí es Ajá. manager logístico, ¿verdad? Sí, es manager. Va, no, es logístico, logístico manager. Pero que que... Hay que quitar de manager abajo porque ya va arriba lo chiste con manager. Uh -huh. ¿O no? ¿Cómo no? Yes, yes. Entonces le van a poner Mr. José Pérez, lo chiste manager. Eh, are you qué? Are you well? I hope are you well. <risa> Así le pongo yo en los correos. Ah, <risa> oh, ok. <risa> <risa> Pero ahí vean usted. ¿Cómo uh -huh. quieren que le pongamos? Ah, sí, no, 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 no. Are you are you well? Uh -huh. When receive receive Are you well well póngale para que esté muy bien. Are you well? <ríe> no, era mentira. <ríe> Pero es que mira, ahí está. ¿Cómo que estás preguntando? ¿Es you were? No, espero. Es que quiero poner I hope sería. Ajá, I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. Are you well? I hope you well. Así sería, ¿verdad? Yes. I hope you well when receive this this report and yo le siempre, I hope are you where are you yo le pongo siempre la pero no sé si espero si... no no se puede tiene que ser así I hope you well sí porque okay. es que si no le estaría haciendo una pregunta tú... la sentencia ah no pero sabes que aquí no falta Así, I hope, you, espero, yo espero que tú estés bien cuando recibas este reporte. I hope you're well when receive the report. And, and to communicate, sería así. Sería, eh, espero que tú estés bien cuando recibas este reporte. Y, y quiero comunicarte cómo sería en I want uh -huh. así sería en uh -huh. I want to comuni comuni cómo sería así comunique en en I want to communicate y ahí le ponemos I want to communicate at this moment. We we'll receive. ¿Así está bien? Va. Va. Eh, pongo I, aquí. Hope, I hope you confirmation or, or, or let me know if you agree the, for for the uh, do as soon as possible. Let me know if you uh, are agree. If you agree, if you agree. Let me know if you agree. 
Auri. Mm -hmm. Auri. With the decisions. The de decisions tomadas. Mm -hmm. Let me know that you agree <laughs> with. Después de que le hicimos, le vamos a Va a decir este. Va a decir. Hello, hello, can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Do you finish already? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Okay, um, we were talking about the first part of the class. Um when we're talking about well, not the first part of the class, the first activity, sorry. Okay. That is, uh, was about um, taking the correct answer when the way we use punctuations, right? Okay, let me check here. Let me check if you can watch the screen. Yeah. Can you watch the screen, Ryan? No? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, number one. So, um, which was the correct punctuation that you're using? Number one. Hello, can you listen to me? We remove items, right? So, which one was the correct punctuation? What was the punctuation correct that you did there? With the period after and packages. Mm -hmm. And then, as a result, coma. Speakers are not able to find them. Wait. Okay. Uh, first, you have uh, we remove items from cartoons and packages. Point as a uh, period, right? As a result, oh. comma. That what you have? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Let me check here. Let me check. Let me check. Okay. You have like this. That way. The rest of the group has the same or you, do you have something different? Different. We have different teacher. Okay, Brunei, which one do you have? And the first uh, is semicolon. Mm -hmm. And packets. 
semicolon. Package, semicolon. Semicolon, after result, comma. Okay, very nice, awesome. Okay, very good, yes, this is the correct way. Number one, semicolon and comma. Very nice. Let's go with number two. Can you read number two? Who? Uh, volunteer. Mariano. Okay. okay. The vendors is shipping multiple items in a single box. Uh, consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items, and rebox them. No, oh, some very nice. Okay, which one do you have in now? Uh, in consequently, the punctuation, which one do you have? The same semicolon in a single box, semicolon. Okay, here. So you have semicolon here. And comma. comma. Yes. Okay, do, do you have the same or, or do one of the team have something different? Okay, let's check. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, okay, here we have this consequently, like, right? okay, we can use it as a semicolon and a comma, right? Very good, awesome. Let's go with the number three. Which one do you have in number three? Let's, let's listen to another team. Vanessa and uh, I think it's Carlos, right? Yes, uh, number yes. three. The warehouse doesn't have enough dot semicolon. Therefore, comma we have to put products in the in the aisles aisles. Consequences. So we have the uh, number three. The warehouse doesn't have enough ducks. Therefore, we have but uh, to put products in the ace loss, right? Okay, let me listen to, yes. In ducks, we need to use what? Semicolon. Okay, semicolon, very good. And then? Comma. Comma is going to be at the end of therefore, right? Right. Yes. Okay, very nice, very nice. Let's go with number four. Which one do you have number four? Mm-hmm. In number four, which one do you have? One team volunteer. Teacher. Yes. Seria the convenior del broke point and comma. Period. Oh uh, mm, no. No, it's point as a consequent comma. Okay. Okay. When we talk about um, in English, another way to say point is period. So, una forma de decir punto en inglés es period. P period. Okay. Period. Ajá, se escribe como period, ¿verdad? But we talk about uh, point. 
Okay, very nice, good, awesome, great job. Okay, right now that you have um. Picture. Yes. In the first one, why could be? Por qué no puede ser punto? In the first one. The number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. This one as a result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And the, 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 the because change the in the period because it's in in lower cap lower 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 caps. Yes, lower case, lower case. Lower case, but in the four is is the same. Yeah. Okay. Um. In in the case of a usage. Okay, so you can use period. Uh, when we talk about a ending text, for example, the conveyor belt broke. Mm -hmm. Okay, hasta aquí tenemos una oración que está completa. The conveyor belt block broke, sorry. Okay, mm -hmm. that está quebrado, right? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Entonces aquí ponemos el period. Of course, yes, aquí necesitamos el capital letter, ¿verdad? Of course, but, it is. But, es... but, but, but the, 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 we can, we can, este, modify. Because yes. the. Yes, en este caso, sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we, we have another part of the text, right? But. Here we have a complete part. Okay, very nice. Let's go. Um, eh, vamos a ver aquí, number one. Acá no, no está finalizada totalmente la oración. We remove it from cartoon and package. Porque todavía o sea, es una acción que necesita algo más para complementarse. Entonces, el as a result está continuando, ¿verdad? Eh, parte de esta oración para unirla con la otra. En cambio, aquí está, ter está terminada con Bill Bell Brock. ¿Verdad? No sé si me explico. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, Thank you. Ok, very nice. Ok, en cuanto a punctuation, you need to be careful of that. ¿verdad? Tenemos que estar un poco más de, como estamos hablando ya de puntuaciones, ¿verdad? recordemos que cada una de las punctuations tiene su uso específico. Ok, y en ese caso acá el semicolon, ¿verdad? Lo que está haciendo es, solo es una media pausa porque vamos a iniciar, vamos a necesitar, necesitamos la otra parte para poder completar la expresión en realidad como la queremos decir. En cambio acá, ¿verdad? Uh, it's different because we finish the the structure or the conversation here, and here we start with another part. Uh, so dos partes completas. Okay, very nice, good. Okay, um, you were working uh in a way of creating a a paragraph, right? Well, it's, it's a text, like uh report talking about a problem or an issue in a warehouse, right? Yes. All right. Awesome, very good. Okay. Uh, let me listen to that uh, reading part that you have. And of course, in order to uh, check what is the usage that you have with the punctuations. Who wants to start first? Let me listen to the team of um, Vanessa. Who do you work with? I worked with Carlos. Okay, very nice. Vanessa works alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, mail from, from Carlos. <laughs> see, I sent a mail to Vanessa, and the topic is ground control at the warehouse. 
Okay. Hello there. I am having some problems with the stock in the warehouse number three. First, the software isn't updating the stock, so when I go to the location, the product is not there. Second problem, the warehouse is full. We have enough product in it. As a consequence, we don't have any space for new products. It's necessary to look for another warehouse or cross docking center. And there, the warehouse manager needs a new worker to make inventory. Therefore, I send a request to human resource. Number four, the warehouse doesn't have enough parking lot for trucks. Consequently, we block the street and it can cause an accident. Number five, we need more frequently maintenance for port lift. That are some problems that we have and it's necessary to find a solution as soon as possible. I'll wait for your comments. Thank best regards. Okay, very okay. Okay, very nice, good. Uh in the in the case of frequently is um um adverb of time, right? In the tempo, right? Frequently. Yes. Okay, cuando, yes. Utiliza, cuando utilizamos frequently, en este caso lo tenemos que utilizar después del sujeto. We frequently need more maintenance for forklift, for sorry. We need frequently. No, we frequently need more after we the subject. Frequently. We frequently need More maintenance for forklift. Okay, muy bien. Okay. Okay, let me show you the rest. Uh -huh. Any space for new products? Yes, very nice. Yes, yes, it's very good. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Very nice, you're welcome. Great job. Okay, let me listen to the next team, which is um Rosibel, Aminda, and I don't remember who else. Mariano, right? Leticia. Leticia. I am Leticia. Okay, very nice. Good. And me too. And of course, yes, Mariano. I will share the screen and who was speaking or who explained? Me. Okay. Mariano. <laughs> Everybody says Mariano. Okay. <laughs> La democracia. <laughs> okay. Mr. Jose Perez, logistics manager. I hope you. You are well when I received this report. And I want to communicate at this moment we received the many products to store. And we don't have enough space in our warehouse. And we can move or deliver product because affect the ending of month. month. As a result, we have to store the new product in holding warehouse. As a consequence, we're going to pay the additional cost for the shipping to our warehouse. Do the storage, the product in holding warehouse as a result, we more working hours are needed. Let me know as you agree, agree with the decision made. Sincerely, product team. Okay, very nice, good. Uh, let me check here. Um, the first part. I hope you're well when receive this report. Ahí ustedes pueden utilizar una coma o pueden utilizar un period. Cualquiera de las dos. Ten, tienen que dar una pausa. Porque cuando utilizamos end es cuando utilizamos dos oraciones al mismo tiempo pero que llevan una relación, ¿verdad? Okay, in este caso, uh-huh, yes. 
Okay, que ahí, cuando ya ustedes tienen, I hope you're well when you receive this report. I want to communicate, ahí como pueden utilizar el end, no lo pueden utilizar, no hay problema si ustedes no lo utilizan. La oración siempre tendrá sentido. Ah, ok, very nice. At this moment we receive too many products to store. And we don't have enough space in our warehouse and we can't move or deliver products because uh, it affects the ending of month. It affects it Porque lo que está diciendo es que eso afecta, ¿verdad? ¿Así? No, solamente el it, sin, sin ah, el... Ah, ok. Uh, it, y ahí le va la modificación del verbo, affects. Ah, yes. Ok, it affects the ending of month. Ok, ahí pueden decir the ending of the month, o pueden decirlo, it affects the monthly ending. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí está bien, very nice. As a result, we have to store the new products in a holding in a holding warehouse. In at. In a. a. Mm -hmm. Okay. As a consequence, we're going to pay the additional cost for the shipping to our warehouse. Do the storage the production of the warehouse so we, um but esta es esta última parte donde dice do the storage cómo es la la expresión que querían utilizar ahí es como que debido a que los productos estuvieron que ir a a, a otra bodega debido a qué Ajá, debido a qué. Ah, ok, entonces, very nice, good. Eso es lo que yo pensaba que querían hacer. ¿verdad? Pero el do, hay que poner el to, do to. Ah, ok, perdón. Mm -hmm. Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Due to the storage, the products in holding warehouse, ¿verdad? debido a que los, el almacenamiento de los productos en la... Ajá, muy bien, ahí sí. El do to, va junto siempre, ¿verdad? Do to. Ok, uh, warehouse. Y en la segunda oración, ¿qué querían decir? Que como resultado de que se fue hacia la otra bodega, eh, nos va a requerir el procesar ese producto más horas de trabajo. Ah, ok, entonces, pero ahí tenemos que, si nosotros queremos hacerla, eh, que nos va a requerir, significa que es una oración en futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces tiene que ser ya sea con will o con going to. Ok, entonces sería eh, we're going we're going to work. Ah, okay, very nice. Okay. We are, we are going to, recuerda que debíamos be going to, ¿verdad? Con el... We are going to work. Mm -hmm. To work in many hours or more hours? We are going to work. More hours. More hours. Okay. okay. A la, la final, let me know as you as agree you... with the decision made. Okay. Ahí lo que está diciendo es um, que le avise cuando, verdad, esté de acuerdo. Mm -hmm. Ok, ahí tiene que ser agree sin D. Mm. Ok, let me know when you agree with the decision made. Ok, muy bien, yeah. very nice. Ahí sí. Ok. Ok, very good. Pasamos. Awesome. pasamos. Yes. <laughs> ya, ya son cuestiones de, de pequeños eh, tips gramaticales, ¿verdad? Pero eso es normal, ¿verdad? parte del proceso del aprendizaje, right? Okay, perfect teacher. Okay, very good, very nice, good. Okay, uh, let me know if you can watch the screen. Yes?
Can you watch the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very nice. Uh, here we have just the the the, the last part, the vocabulary, vocabulary slides. Okay, so we're going to choose uh which one is the correct uh the case the meaning according to the one that is marked here so we need to look for the right concept to each uh this part so we have one two three four five six so we need to find the six correct meaning for these words or these parts that we have in here in the text Ok, in the chart. ¿verdad? Tenemos que buscar cuáles son las, las correct, los términos correctos para cada, un, cada uno de ellos. Ok. Ok. Ok, yo creo que lo hacemos. Yes, we can do it before we leave. Lo, lo voy a enviar ahorita para que lo hagamos as soon as we possible. Ok. Solo cinco minutos tenemos. Yes, yo creo que lo hacemos, ¿verdad? <laughs> One per minute. Do you think that we do it? Okay. Okay, no. very nice. As soon as it's possible. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Is as soon as possible or as soon as is possible? No, as soon as possible. I think it's possible. Okay. As soon as possible. Yes, me aprendí eso. Yes, as soon as possible, como decir, lo más rápido que pueda, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. Your orders must be packed in the right package. Complete with an accurate content slip and added to a delivery manifest for dispatch. Okay, good. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Next. Uh, packing. Okay. And number two, this goods needs to be unloaded and then check it off against the original order and the information has to be loaded against the customer account. I don't know. Inbound? <laughs> Inbound for us. Inbound processes. No, sir. Okay. Items need to be checked and loaded as they are received and put away in the correct bins or pack or packet for this page without further stores. <laughs> it must be easy for your pickers to find items and the journey time between items and between orders to be minimal. Picking. No, picking. 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 Fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separate. Layout and a slot, sloping, maybe. Okay, maybe. Layout and sloping. And the last one. Shipping. 
the right order will be on the right big call at the right time with the right delivery man. Yeah. Okay. The second one, managing returns. Managing returns. This group, these goods need to be unloaded and then checked up against the original order and the information has to be loaded against the customer's account. No, no, yo no, 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 yeah, in yeah. the processor, we don't know we, what is exactly how your thing is. Okay, por, por eso ahí mismo dice building vocabulary, ¿verdad? Okay, construyendo <laughs> nuevo vocabulario. <laughs> number, the number of is managing return. Sure. Fast moving. Okay. Ah, maybe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that put managing returns. In the number five. Mm -hmm. The number six is shipping. The right orders is the ship. The picking is the. Um, Nos falta inbound process. Uh, is... Three. The picking is three. Picking is number three, correct beans. Mm -hmm. Picking. Aquí. Espérate que no se me da. Ajá. Ok. Shipping dijo este, así está, managing. Um, ¿Y qué dijiste que era involved processes? ¿Qué dijiste que era, Minda? Involved process. In, inbound process. Uh -huh. Es como eh, los procesos internos de recepción que tú haces. Entonces, te, uh, Sería, so, yeah, these goods need to be uploaded and then mm -hmm. check off against the original order. And the information has to be loaded against the customer. Te dice que esta pregunta necesita ser um, unloaded, descargado. Y chequeado de la orden original y la información debe de ser adicionada o verificada en la cuenta del cliente. Uh -huh. Era ese. Pongamos ese. No más que resulta que no está bueno. Pone ese. Involve process y la otra la yo... A mí, me, a mí la... creo que ese de the, the good needs to be uploaded and then check if I'm getting the original order. Para mí ese sería como managing retorts. ¿Cuál? What number? The number two is man and she retort. Hmm. Porque te dice fast moving items need to be near the front. Te dice que los elementos que se mueven rápido este, deben de estar cerca o frente de la bodega. Los que se compran con una mayor y, y esto deben de estar hmm. como a la par de los que se venden más con una mayor frecuencia. Yo creo que sí, este management return es aquí. Y no se ve ahí el audio en el slotting. Yo creo que sí, no se ve el en el Me suena más aquí. Y este... 
Le llamo en slur, puede ser. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Porque okay, dice sí que los tabs. Y la otra podría cuadrar con lo que vos decís sin vos, prosa. ¿Qué dijiste que era? Bueno, mira, no se me queda ahorita ya. Ah, it's more, this is more easy for you pickers to find items in their journey time. Between items and menu order should be minimized. Creo que sea in both process. Dejémoslo así porque es la única que tenemos. Y los demás que dicen, no dicen nada. Mariano, no sé qué dice. Ya. Mariano. Dice. Mariano ya tiene sueños. Ya se ve. Yo también ya nos pasamos de la hora. Qué barbaridad. Ni porque es viernes. No, pues. ser. Viendo el teacher. Ni porque es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. <risa> sí, teacher. Sí, teacher, ya está ahora ya. Ya no, ya no, ya no, ya no procesamos, teacher. <risa> Es que estamos reponiendo un par de minutos que lo, de lo que perdí en, en, en el inicio de la clase. Dios mío, Dios me guarde. Dios Porque me nos santo. castiga. Sí, hombre. Es, es un castigo bendición. Tómenlo como un castigo bendición. Ay, teacher. Vaya, ya, vamos ya a... terminamos, teacher. Ok, very nice. Eso lo vamos a revisar mañana, no se preocupe. Ok. okay. Mañana, mañana. Ah, oh, my God. Lunes, teacher. Ay, el lunes, oh. el lunes. Hagámoslo Monday, ahora. Monday. The next week. Yeah, next week. Lo que pasa es que para mí mañana, bueno, sábado es día normal, ¿verdad? por eso don, ya lo, ni sé qué fin de semana. <ríe> ok, nosotros very nice. Sí todavía, teacher, todavía Hola. Qué fin de, nosotros sí todavía sabemos de, qué usted, fin de sí, usted, usted, usted le esperan con ansia, ¿verdad? <ríe> sí. Bueno, niños, terminamos. Okay, very nice. Uh, we're going to check it on Monday, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, so as soon as you listen to your name, please tell me present, okay? Okay. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Very nice. Belén Batre García. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Very nice. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Ok. José Roberto Martínez Bernabe. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Very nice. Oscar Anulfo Viatoro Herrera. Present. Very nice. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Very good. Good night. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Albarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Y Wendy Carolina Morales Amaya. 
Okay, very nice students. Okay, um, have a nice weekend and see you on Monday, okay? Enjoy your weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You thank too. you, welcome. Good night. Good night. Okay, Have thank you, good thank night. you. Good night. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Hello, Leticia. Leticia, can you listen to me? Leticia? Yes, teacher, hoy, hoy sí. Es que se este me voy a ir de la señal y por la venta a veces no puedo contestar. Ah, okay, very nice. Sí. Awesome. Yes, teacher. Okay, um, no sé si en cuanto a los temas tiene... ¿Alguna ¿Me escucha? Sí, que se me va la semana. No te echar todo claro. Clear the water. Yes, yes. It's ok. Clear. Ok, very nice noticia. See you Monday, so. What is Okay, very okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, bye bye.